A major decision down under is causing ripples across the aviation industry. Last month, the Australian government rejected the Qatar Airways' request to fly an extra 21 flights a week into Australia. The airliner was keen on targeting major cities like Melbourne, Brisbane and Sydney to profit from an increase in demand where supply was clearly low. However, with fierce opposition from Australian airline Qantas and a 2020 legal controversy at Doha's Hamad International Airport believed to be key factors, that plan failed to land. In the Australian skies, the dominance of Qantas looms large. Qantas controls 400 international flights per week from major cities compared to Qatar's mere 28 flight schedule. The rejection has sparked criticism from aviation and tourism associations and now Australian Shadow Finance Minister Jane Hume. They say the decision is a bad outcome for the industry, with Senator Hume arguing that it could further aggravate Australia's cost of living crisis, impacting everyday Australians. Senator Hume said by blocking Qatar's request, you're in fact decreasing competition and pushing up airline prices for ordinary Australians. She went further to call the government's behaviour anti competitive Competitive and demanded an explanation. But opposition to the decision does not stop there, and Virgin Australia, a partner of Qatar Airways since 2022, found itself caught in the turbulence. Virgin's head of sustainability, Christian Bennett, said he was deeply disappointed and is concerned the decision would blow a dent into Virgin's competitive position. Federal Transport Minister Catherine King denied that the decision to block Qatar Airways was molded by the Hamad Airport incident, when five Australian women were forced off an airplane and subjected to an intimate search as part of a hunt for a mother who abandoned a newborn baby in the toilet. However, as the debate continues down under, the decision has raised essential questions about competition, economic implications, and the future of air travel between Qatar and Australia.